Was there anything in the script that you found uh, off-putting, or not even off-putting, but found difficult to interpret uh, on screen? Several uh, things about the script. I mean, it, it, it took a while to, like, without going into specifics, it is the Matrix, and it's yeah. not, it, 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 it's not, you don't get that for free. You know, you don't, uh, 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 the world is not uh, so easily digestible on the first read or the second read or the third. So you really have to go back and study the films and reference the other films and really understand how your character fits into fits into the world of the Matrix. Uh, sometimes it's even hard to, 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 to uh, detail the plot line of it. It's incredibly smart and thorough. Um, but I think, <clears throat> I think everything in terms of what I was asked to do, um, it was it, it was an opportunity, you know, it was it was a, uh, it was an opportunity to to show some flair or the opportunity to, you know, to move forward the plot uh, to help, you know, Neo into, you know, where where he was, where he needed to get to. You know what I mean? I think it all I think it all it, it all worked out. And, and in the places where it got confusing, it was just like, knock, 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 knock. Hey, Lana, what's going on? And sometimes you leave the meeting with a lot more confused than you were when you went in <laughs> uh, because you had such a brain for it. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's a very, very complex story. It was, it was complex the, the entire time, I think. Was that true for you as well, Jessica? Yeah, like banging your head off a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely, I think Lana's forte is, and obviously the original Matrix, it, it's very deep and philosophical and... Uh, yeah, I had to read the script several times to really make sure that I knew exactly what she was trying to say um, and how I was a part of that. Both of you, as I know, have had quite varied careers. I'm just wondering, um, again, without going into specifics, do you draw any line between previous characters or previous work you've done to your characters and The Matrix Resurrections? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I know you're an Aquaman, obviously, and, and Watchmen and what have you. I mean, do you draw any comparisons between your character and, say, Dr. Manhattan or anything like that? Uh, I mean, I think there's a, well, the short answer is no, but there's another more, uh, in terms of an actor, you know, I, this is a role where um, where there's already precedence, you know, for, you know, yeah. people had expectations for Black Manta, they had expectations for uh, Candyman, they had expectations for Dr. Manhattan, Certainly, there's the expectations to, to, for a character like Morpheus. I think it just shows for me that I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a game actor. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid of, of uh, big moments, and I mean, I'm willing to go in and, you know, and to, 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 to put my, my take and my spin on, on characters and iconic moments and things like that. This, this was no, no difference, and it, you know, it, it required me to, to sort of approach it with the same spirit of play and, and, and courage. I think, but. Um, no, I think this is one that I think stands on its stands pretty singularly on its own. Yeah, same. Uh, I, again, have come from a place where I've played roles where there were expectations. Uh, obviously, being in the Marvel TV world, playing a comic book character, um, and Game of Thrones, obviously, people know the character from the books. But I wouldn't really draw that many parallels Um between those characters and Bugs, she is she's her own her own thing. Did the background that both of you have had, you know, like Jessica, you obviously you know Game of Thrones and Marvel and uh, yeah yeah you with um, uh, Aquaman. Do you find going into something like this where it is very action orientated? Do you feel like okay, great, I've got a handle on this, or do you just start fresh every time, or how do you how do you approach it? Uh, for me, I think I have some move uh, some movement vocabulary, so it helps me to be comfortable moving. Uh, but this was different. This, I, I mean, it's it's the Matrix, and so I, I I really wanted to start at day one. I hadn't uh, been asked to move in this specific way. You know, I've been able. I had to do you know hand to hand combat, and, uh, you know, a couple you know um, different forms of action, but nothing like I was asked to learn here. And so um, this one required me to be very agile uh, to be able to adapt and change on the day. Um, and to learn some to learn some martial arts, you know, my kicks and my punches and, and, and different styles and things like that. So it was a lot of fun, but it did sort of cause me to um, to, to to start all the way from the beginning in terms of movement um, and and uh, build up from there for sure. Jessica, uh, for me, whenever I do an action role, I always say that's the last time. 
and that I'll never do it again. And so I get out of shape and I stop going to the gym and I stop <laughs> eating protein. And so when I inevitably return to the genre, I'm always like, why did I do that? Why, why did because I do you have that? to start from scratch. Uh, so yes, I think this it, that's a really good way of putting it. Like I said, it's like a vocabulary. I, I had it in the bank. It's like riding a bike. I, I knew I had the lodge, the knowledge that I had um, picked up from some amazing stunt coordinators over the years. But uh, this was its own thing. For me, really, besides the hurdle of getting back into shape, um, the hurdle was learning guns because I'd never done gun work before. And uh, it's very hard not to flinch when you shoot. So that was a task to overcome. <laughs> well, I suppose you had the shades, I guess. I mean, that could have maybe blinked. That could have... I had the shades, but then Lana, it's not like the original. She often would be like, no, get rid of the shades. I was always trying to get the shades into more scenes. And she was like, okay, calm I, down. Right. Calm down with shades. Right. <laughs> it's like more shades, more shades. More shades. More what shades. are you doing to me? More shades. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the wrap up there. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you so much.